Hi guys, Elite here with a new process video and this one is for HipKit Club. Um, this is my final layout and as you will see in the video, this is really a process video um, where I'm going to show you all kinds of things I was thinking about and uh, eventually how I <laughs> came to the final uh, layout. So I have my photo, I have a title in mind and no idea what I'm gonna do. So I think for me it starts usually with just going through the papers next to my photo and kind of um, choosing a color scheme and that usually means I would say probably two main colors and then maybe some neutrals or one main color and some neutrals. And here I was just looking at some of my favorite uh, bits and pieces and one of the papers we got was this cut apart sheet from uh, Pink Paisley from the Celavie collection. There are a few papers in the kit from that collection and it's a really really beautiful um, very feminine collection I would say. So I kind of liked those, um, the really light pink uh, pieces there and just I'm pulling some of the really light colors. In general, I, especially in the last months, I'm really um, drawn to light colors. I find it more challenging to work with dark colors and there are a few papers in the kit that are quite um, dark and those are just harder for me to work with. I don't know. I think it's my new uh, found addiction to white cardstock and um, yeah, everything that is kind of white <laughs> and light. So I just pulled a few pieces. Um, once I decide to go with a color scheme, it's kind of it makes it easier to pull um, embellishments and other things from the kit, just because there's there are so many things in this in the kits, so it's it's a really good way to narrow things down. You know, only go for the pink things or only go for the uh, gray things, and then you know you have a lot, um, you have less choices. So. I also took um, this pattern paper that you see there behind the Que Sera Sera. Uh, sorry, I probably butchered that with my horrible accent. <laughs> but <laughs> um, it's just a piece of one of the pattern papers and it's kind of like a chevron. And the one I took is a section that has only very light colors. So that's also something to keep in mind um, in pattern papers or cut apart sheets that you can just choose the parts that work with your color scheme. You don't have to use the whole paper. Uh, you know, make it work for you. So you see here I have kind of this idea of these little clusters there with the frames and some strips of pattern paper. But then I uh, looked at, I had this strip left over from a previous layout that I made and this paper this one that I'm holding now. So I have two sheets because I have the pattern paper add-on. And one side is kind of yellow and then the other side is this polka dot um, that is mostly white and the polka dots are really small and they are very colorful. So I just punched, you can see I, it's the strip that I had is not even the size of my punch. So the circles are kind of cut off, but I don't mind that. I like that kind of wonky look. Uh, don't want anything to be too perfect and oops someone's calling my name okay this is real life people so <laughs> a couple of hours have passed <laughs> and now we're in uh, nap time again we'll see how long that lasts anyway um, I wanted to add a little bit of a little bit more layers to these circles so I'm just picking the black and white uh, patterns from the papers in the kit. Yeah, does that make sense? The pattern papers <laughs> with the black and white patterns. <laughs> and just um, adding a few more circles behind some of the circles. And 
this is just, you know, it's really fun and you can go about this in so many ways um, to build a design for your layout. You can make it more layered or bigger circles or smaller ones. It's just really fun to play with pattern paper this way. So I just want to add a few more layers uh, behind my photo. And yeah, I'm going to play around a little bit with these uh, circles. I kind of struggled with getting the spacing right. And eventually I had to cut another circle from the um, other 12 by 12 paper that uh, with this polka dot uh, pattern. So um, but that's not really important. Anyway, I am gluing things down. So that's happening. And <laughs> now I'm working on my title. And uh, in the main kit, we got these um, foam word thickers, which I love. And they are Amy Tan, if I'm not mistaken. And one of the words is cheers. And for some reason, I got it stuck in my head. I thought, okay, I want to make something rhyme and came up with cheers, hairy ears. And <laughs> yes, um, if, you know, in the future, my little baby girl watches this video and, uh, you know, is totally embarrassed, <laughs> I do apologize. Um, but babies are born with hairs in all kinds of weird places and my <laughs> older daughter uh, like my eldest she actually had um, hair on her back you know it just goes away after a couple of months but they are little monkeys <laughs> these babies <laughs> so my uh, yeah my second daughter she has a bit of this you know embryonic hair on her <laughs> ears and I don't know I think it's really funny um, yeah, that's the kind of mother I am. I like to torture my kids with these <laughs> funny facts. <laughs> so we'll probably talk about this at her wedding or something. Um, you know, choose the most embarrassing uh, situation to bring this up. And any future boyfriends uh, will probably <laughs> see the baby album. So anyway, I'm trying these uh, little circle... Um, thickers the dark blue ones and I gotta say uh, I think those are Dear Lizzie I th I'm not sure but um, previous collections have or also had these and I gotta say I find them a little hard to use and as you see I'm gonna take them off I don't know the color wasn't working for me and I just yeah these glittery foam ones are so much easier for me to use. It's like a personal preference type of thing, but I got to figure out a way to use the <laughs> circle ones. So there I am writing the hairy ears and I just want to make it so it fits in that uh, space <coughs> uh, below the word. So I'm just going to fuss around a little bit, just move around the... Uh, cheers to make it to make it um, yeah to make it fit it's um, the foam thickers are really uh, easy to manipulate so that's nice and the embellishments I added there they're really cute they are from the embellishment kit and they are from the new Chamel line um, I really like that little hot air balloon um, it's just really cute it has kind of like a illustration type of vibe to me um, like a children's book or something like that so I really liked how that looks and I'm kind of going with color so that hot air balloon has kind of yellow and green in it and I placed it um, on these circles that have uh, these little yellow and green polka dots and then the other side has more pink uh, dots so that's where I'm placing the pink um, embellishments so that's one of the my go-to things kind of tone on tone uh, things and that little heart sticker uh, below the camera on the right side um, it had like these lines next to it like a, a post stamp or something 
but that didn't work for me so I just cut it and uh, just kept that round uh, shape and now I'm just adding my embarrassing journaling for future generations to know this very important fact and my finishing touch um, besides enamel dots um, I'm just gonna take a couple of strips from this pattern paper I really like it it's like this bold stripe but it's one of those papers that are harder for me personally to use uh, because it's so bold and uh, just a little strip uh, works really well so that's my finished layout thank you so much for watching i hope you're inspired to go and play have a lovely day bye